I would probably be able to make better mulligan decisions if I had actually looked at how many lands we're playing. Oh, wow. These are some interesting ranked symbols. <laughs> That's not even like the bronze symbol or anything. Is that what Mythic looks like now, or is that a glitch? Hmm. Weird. Okay, so we have a 3-drop and a 4-drop. We're on the draw. We are supposed to be aggro. I don't think I'm supposed to keep something with no 1 or 2-drop. I guess I'm going to keep this thing that has no 1 or 2-drop. Yeah. Alright, let's get rid of a land, and then we can at least foretell Lupine Harbingers on 2. Is that even good? That might not actually be a good thing. Hmm. Six mana to cast is a lot, but I guess it makes for a really big creature. Or we could just curve out and play it on four. But maybe we'll draw another four drop. Okay, dragons, sure. Well, we've drawn enough lands at this point. I'm just going to assume we'll draw more 4-drops so that we don't need that Harbinger. We just want to get it stacking up counters as quickly as possible. So, Dragons mostly has 4 4s, which makes me think I'm supposed to play the Kazandu Mammoth on turn 3 to attack with a 5-5. Five five rather than the old growth troll. It is more damage faster. Dragonfire still kills either one. Hey, we did draw a four drop. Perfect. Okay, well now we hope the opponent doesn't kill our creature or just continue to play haste threats that are faster than us. I guess. Okay, Moonvale region is not strictly faster than us. More lands, probably not perfect. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be happy with them trading here. Because I wasn't actually winning the race otherwise. Still losing the race if they have a hasty threat. The orb is not a hasty threat. The orb could become a hasty threat. Fearsome Wealth is not a hasty threat. Okay. That's probably a good sign. More lands is not removal spells, which is kind of awkward. I imagine this probably ends up... No, no chump block? Okay, that's got to be a good sign for me. Lookbind Harbingers is going to be 8 hasty trample power, right? Yeah. Old Growth Troll is a 4 power trampler. So they need 3 toughness to block, plus a way to chump block or answer Kazandu Mammoth. Town Razor Tyrant. So if they leave back Fearsome Whelp, they're not quite dead. Ooh. They do leave back Fearsome Wealth. Shoot, that might just be good enough. Yeah. And the Town Razor Tyrant makes me take two damage. 
Okay, no attack with the Moonveil region maybe gives me a chance. <sighs> nah, because they got a creature land. Which means if I play the Lupine Harbingers... Well, actually, wait. So this is going to... Yeah, it's going to be an 8-8. So, chump lock the mammoth. What if I don't attack with the mammoth? I attack with the old growth troll and the lupine harbingers. They have to throw a 4-4 four four in front of it. They have 6 power attacking. I'm at 8. We can block den with kazandu mammoth. Yeah, that does actually work, I think. Sucks that I can't play the Lair of the Hydra here. If I attack with Kazandu Mammoth, they chump block, block, go to two, kill me. So it has to be like this. Oh, cardboard. Not live. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Should be working now. For at least the not new cards, I presume. Aren't I dead? I don't believe so. Oh yeah, one damage from Regent. So, six, seven, yes. If they had blocked with Regent, I would be dead. You're a special one. But, I suppose given the uh, lack of other options, Hoping that they missed that was the best I could do. So they can swing for five here. This block doesn't really accomplish anything. They can definitely swing with the Moonvale Regent on board, but I guess this plays around trample threats off the top so i pretty much have to sack every single one of these lands i'm fairly certain whoa oh does it remove the ability Ooh, that's cool so if Town Razor enters after Old Growth Troll goes on something. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, building your resolves. Okay. There's no way I ever need any of this mana. I don't think. Decline. Decline. Oh. I thought I was sacking these instead of taking damage. Well, I don't think that's going to change it, but I might as well decline now because I'm dead in the air anyway. Mm. More lands not going to do it. I found a removal spell, probably. Nine. Nah, I would have put him to one. Oh well. <laughs> uh, the fact that I can't read that ability text on the Snowlands and was trying to guess. Not perfect. Alright, let's see. Choose your weapon has to be correct, right? 
doubling power and toughness, but also just being a removal spell for everything is probably good. The creatures, I assume, always stay in the board for the Grizzled Hunt Masters. Inscription of Abundance is probably a card I'm supposed to be playing. Mm, but I need cuts. What am I supposed to cut? I have no idea what cards aren't good. Arsenic Skin Veil is bad? It's kind of hard to tell. Maybe the 1 2. Maybe? I feel like the ability to turn 4 power creatures, or 5, 4 toughness creatures, into five toughness creatures is pretty big against them, but maybe Inscription of Abundance is just more valuable than Pup? Hmm. But in that sense, isn't Pup doing the same thing as Snakeskin Veil? Hmm. I guess Ranger class is also sort of doing a similar thing. Let's cut the Ranger class. Let's cut the Snake Skin Veils. Let's play some Inscription of Abundance. And then let's like cut a Grizzle to Hunt Master for more Inscription of Abundance. I don't know. I feel like cutting Snake Skin Veil is probably incorrect, but I don't know how much I'm supposed to value removal spells over. Curve out. Okay. Well, this actually has things that I can cast early. Pup can fight the well. Yeah, that's true. That's true. If we have a fight spell. But I guess if we have Inscription as an instant speed fight spell, if we're on the play, we can kill the well before it does anything. It's not... Unreasonable. <sighs> so I assume I'm just supposed to play Pup into Sculptor. I don't know if that's like kind of a waste of the Pup trigger, but I guess you can't really be picky because you still just have to play your cards out on curve no matter what. And it means we get to attack with a 3-3 Sculptor of Winter before we try to ramp. So that's sort of not nothing. Okay, Tenacious Pup is an enter the battlefield, not a trigger. Or not a... It's an as it enters the battlefield card, not a when it enters the battlefield card. Meaning that if we play like an old growth troll with a tenacious pup trigger, there's no opportunity for them to play a dragon fire that does four damage to kill the troll, because it'll enter with five toughness. Hey Chris, I have to see this. Hope it's going okay. Been up and down from rank 10 to 20 basically. Uh, this is the first match. I assume it won't go stellarly but that will be much more to do with me and less to do with anything related to the deck. I don't have a terribly huge amount of experience playing aggro. Okay, suddenly my mana looks weird now that I don't have that Sculptor of Winter. Hmm. I don't have any mana dorks that I can get with Huntmaster, right? No. I don't even really have a 3-drop that I can get. I don't think Mask Vandal is stellar here. At least not when they didn't play the Mana Rock on 2. I feel like I'm probably still supposed to switch out the Old Growth Troll for a 4-power creature with haste here, though, since I can't cast Old Growth Troll without top-decking a land anyway. And 
and this way I increase the chance that I draw into a land. As for what card to get, I guess I could get Grizzled Huntmaster. Wait, am I actually supposed to get this Grizzled Huntmaster? It gives me something to do if I don't draw a land. That's actually sort of valuable. I respect old growth troll, just not when I'm stuck on three lands and one of them isn't green. I think I actually get the Grizzled Huntmaster. <laughs> oh, Florihedron to the side. Yeah, okay. That makes sense to me. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'm happy I got that Huntmaster. Now I guess I get rid of one werewolf pack leader? No, I get rid of both, don't I, so I can get two four drops. I mean, I get, no, I guess I need one werewolf in case I miss on an untapped land, don't I? Doesn't work that way? Oh, that I don't pick two at once. Yeah, okay, so I can pick the other one now. Yeah, definitely don't want these. Well, so I could choose to exile both pack leaders and get two copies of whatever card I fetch. Oh! It doesn't actually... It conjures duplicates of the card, so I can keep getting Grizzled Huntmaster, huh? I'm probably still supposed to get more Grizzled Huntmasters, right? In which case, I should have exiled the pack leader because I would rather have a hunt master than a pack leader? Maybe that's not true. Maybe if I do draw a green land... I don't, I don't know. Do I want the mast vandal? Now that my opponent has an orb? I think I'm just supposed to keep getting four threes. Oh, because of Snowlands. Sure, that's cute. So if we draw a land here, I can use Grizzled Huntmaster to turn Pack Leader into a 4-drop. Yeah, that works. Okay. Somehow the Grizzled Huntmaster beats plan is actually sort of working. Hmm. Four Kazandu Mammoths in the main is probably just correct, right? Because I kind of wonder if having a Kazandu Mammoth in the side for Grizzled Huntmaster would ever be something that's meaningful. Yeah, Oddity just has to be better here. Yeah, it is nice to have main deck. That is very true. Ooh. Lifelink, huh? Um, well, I imagine I'm supposed to kill the adult gold dragon. Of 
It is a little ironic that this oddity would have been better as a 2-drop now. So we fight the gold dragon. We swing with everybody. They block pup, hunt master, go to 1, 2. If they have a removal spell, I probably die. There's a possibility that I'm not supposed to Blizzard Brawl here, and I'm just supposed to play, like, a four-power creature and swing. I don't know which four-power creature to swing with. I guess Harbingers? I think that might be better in the long run, because this gets less blown out by a removal spell. I'm not crafting these alchemy cards. So I had to craft like 12 rares for this deck, and most of them were not new cards. Oh, okay, they blocked the thing that has trample. Oh, they, I see, they just took all of it. Okay, works for me. Mono green is wild card friendly. Um, I don't know if that's the case anymore. There are a lot of rares in this deck. I don't know that I've ever redeemed as many rare wild cards at once as while building this deck, but that might just be because I've never crafted a green aggressive card before. <laughs> and it's, that's a lot of sets of backlog to craft. Mythic wildcard friendly. I see. The one that I've got like 40 of. Right. Okay. So if I brawl Moonvale, they kill Pup. That doesn't sound good. So I think I'm supposed to play Kazandu Mammoth and then brawl from Mammoth onto Raydane. I think that plays around a removal spell best. I don't think the indestructible or the plus one power from the blizzard brawl matters here. Yep. Didn't have the Dragon's Fire, so I can't swing with the Tenacious Pup now, but I do get to swing with my two Taunt Masters. They have to trade their whole board away for that. Oh, I guess they could keep one card, huh, because none of this has Trample, and I didn't get to swing with the Pup. Okay, they... Keep the whelp? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh. So, they kind of messed up. They could have done that by trading the whelp, and Raydane would have made the damage trigger deal too, and then they would have just had Raydane in play instead of a fearsome whelp, which I have to imagine is better. Couldn't I swing with Pup? Um, if I swung with Pup there, because I didn't have anything with Trample and they had three blockers, they just get to eat Pup with the Raidane, Chump Block with the Fearsome Whelp, and trade with the Moonvale Regent. And I didn't think losing my Pup when they're at one for that was worthwhile. I'm really happy they didn't draw that Adult Gold Dragon naturally. Okay, let's play an Oddity then. Looks like they found a removal spell. Cool. Not really. This looks like it's going to be hard. I don't imagine myself being favored from here. So 
So they go up to five. I guess if they go up to... F no, Faceless Haven doesn't deal four damage. So I'm still in trouble even if I draw a land. I draw a land. <sighs> if I swing the Faceless Haven, I'm not accomplishing anything. So I have to play Huntmaster. Not good. I guess my out was drawing a four mana hasty creature there. Moonvale region. That sucks. Pup, not a fight spell. Faceless Haven not dealing four damage kind of hurts here. Yeah, I don't think I can win this. Let's see. In fact, I don't think I can avoid dying. Hmm. I guess we didn't draw any of our instant speed fight spells. Oh, hey, cool. Our rank symbol changed. <laughs> All right. Oh, haven't they fixed the symbol yet? They usually don't end up fixing any minor cosmetic bugs like that until the next actual uh, okay. update. Because you never know what kind of side effects are liable to result from attempting to fix something. Rahilda. Okay. So, I could let the Rahilda hit me by playing the Sculptor of Winter, and then try to play two pack leaders next turn, or I can try to block the Rahilda with a Werewolf pack leader, and then play an Old Growth Troll on turn three. Both lines are kind of equally weak if my opponent decides to play a removal spell. My gut says play ramp, but considering I'm playing aggro, maybe that's wrong. Okay. Well, considering my opponent decided to play nothing, I should probably just be happy that I can immediately turn it back today. Okay. I guess Brittle Blast, like, is good against Old Growth Troll. I still feel like this card doesn't actually do much to justify playing it. But we'll decline to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Snakeskin Veil, not a fight spell, which is a little sad, but probably still good. Pack Leader doesn't increase its toughness at all, which means if I attack with Pack Leader... I can pump it to trade with Townraiser Tyrant, but they would probably like that. Now I imagine we're just playing Old Growth Troll and passing. So the opponent can't attack with Rahilda if they want access to that 4-drop. Okay, Bloodthirsty Adversary. They spend a lot of life and a bunch of mana to make me use a snakeskin veil. I'm pretty excited about that. They decide to attack with Townraiser Tyrant, which isn't what I would have expected. I think 
And we'll go ahead and sacrifice this forest now, and probably immediately get punished for it. Yup. Well, we could still use the Grizzled Hunt Master to get rid of the old growth troll and get something more impactful here. What more impactful will be in this situation, I'm unsure. We get to draw a card. Hmm, Sculpture of Winter. Okay, that's actually kind of something clean to play here. I can play Sculptor of Winter and Grizzled Hunt Master and go get a Vorinclex? Although I wonder... Do I not want to draw an old growth troll? I guess I probably want more chances at drawing haste creatures, but maybe I'm not supposed to be thinning my deck of non-lands? Eh. Okay, so Vorinclex has the small weakness of if they remove my Sculptor of Winters, do they get to know what I get with Grizzled Huntmaster? I think it's not known information. Eh, let's grab a Vorinclex. It should be fun. Maybe not right, but fun. But they do see the cards that I got rid of, so they knew I either fetched or kept a Sculptor of Winter over the Old Growth Troll, which is information. The fact that they have Bloodthirsty Adversary probably means that they are playing a fair number of removal spells, but in this scenario it's just hard for me to believe that they would, in the blind, throw the removal spells at our Sculptor of Winters instead of at the Huntmaster or the Old Growth Troll. Down to eight. Mm, yeah, Blood Vile Purveyor continues to seem like a hard card to beat. Which begs the question of can I beat that? So, six. So block Old Growth Troll, take six, block. No, the answer is that I cannot beat that, huh? Blood Vile Purveyor seems kind of extremely good against green. So I can play Vorinclex and get a blood token. That doesn't accomplish anything. I kind of need my opponent to make bad blocks, so I guess I just give them the option of making bad blocks. Unfortunately, that was not the bad block. Kind of needed them to block more Clex, I think. Okay. Well. Oh. Hmm. Was there a way that not attacking with the Sculptor of Winter... No, because I had to play Vorinclex pre-combat to get them to kill the old growth troll. I wonder if it's possible that there was some way I could have sequenced that to keep a forest in hand, loot the forest away with the blood token from casting Vorinclex, and cast a Blizzard Brawl onto the Blood Vile Purveyor. But I don't think there's any way I have enough mana to do that, no matter how I sequence that. Unless I just don't play Vorinclex pre-combat and just see if they kill the troll 
and then I play the Vorinclex post-combat after a troll is already on the snow-covered forest with both my Sculptor of Winters. Maybe that was actually possible. Maybe. Okay, so making a judgment from the fact that they were playing Bloodthirsty Adversary that they're going to play a lot of removal. I think I want the Snakeskin Veils. I think we keep the Blizzard Brawls. The Ranger classes maybe are important for trying to get over... Blood Vial Purveyor. Choose your weapon doesn't kill Blood Vial Purveyor. Do I need Inscription of Abundance? Cut Ranger Classes, probably. I don't know how hard I'm supposed to go on trying to kill Blood Vial Purveyor, but this is probably wrong. See, this is where I'm probably being a bad aggro player and trying to play removal, which probably isn't how this deck is supposed to function. Okay, well, we get to play turn two Werewolf Pack Leader. That's... Technically something, I think. Buffs are a bit important against werewolves. Early game, it's important we get something taller than them, and the Vigilance let us pressure and defend. Okay. Do you think the Inscription of Abundance is ought to come in at all? Or is it just something like Grizzled Hunt Master that comes out? Maybe four drops. Maybe I'm not supposed to be a four drop gamer. That would be hard to accept if true, but possibly still true. Yeah, I gotta imagine it's supposed to be Old Growth Troll here. If they're holding a removal spell, we want the card that ramps. Grizzled Huntmaster just doesn't progress the board as much. If they untap and Riddle Blast Old Growth Troll as a sorcery speed, I guess I'll be sad, but not that sad. Yeah, okay. That. Wait, what? Oh, they didn't choose red. Oh no, opponent. I'm sorry. Okay, well, let's be a 4-drop gamer. Yeah, that, that land seemed like the best draw. Okay. This seems awfully early to be about to win a game, but I think we're about to win the game. I respect the timing, opponent, but... Snakeskin Veil is not a fair card. Oh. I don't know if that feels good. I am not certain. I've been on the other side of that too many times, and my heart still is hurt by it. <laughs> Wait, are we actually playing aggro instead of just pretending? I mean, I think we're kind of priced into the aggro part of it at this point. <laughs> um, okay, so let's assume I'm cutting, like, Huntmasters, and I, I'm not allowed to cut Mammoths, because those are lands. I guess I can cut a Sculptor of Winter, maybe? It might actually be worse than cutting a Pack Leader. Maybe not four pups. We'll go with that. And a lupine. Oh, okay. We do want to cut the four drops. Yeah, alright. I bought that. Just trimming? Okay. Chris, whenever you're saying you're playing aggro, it's just a control deck with creatures and too many decisions. 
This deck has a lot of decisions. It's just not decisions I actually understand. The secret about magic decks is most magic decks have lots of decisions. Why do they gain life? Wait, why does this gain one life? That's such a random... Why? Hmm. I guess for life gain synergy decks? <laughs> oh no. I'm kind of excited that the opponent decided to kill the pup. But they're probably still going to kill the pack leader. Yeah. Uh, Infernal Grasp is not a card I'm terribly upset about them using. I'm pretty sure I can't afford to just jam a pup here, so Mammoth it is. Pup whatever the next thing is, which is hopefully a 4-drop. Okay, okay. Florian's not particularly scary. Pup seems pretty good here. I'm gonna be sad if they brittle blast my old growth troll. But otherwise, five power, trample, vigilance, five toughness seems good. Oh, okay. One mana opponent. What can you do with one mana? So, play with fire. I'm trying to think what I'm supposed to put the counters on here. Play with fire is the only one mana interaction I can think of. It, whichever creature I fight with does die to play with fire. Would I rather have the Mammoth or the Troll die? I'd probably rather have the Mammoth die in this spot. But I guess if neither dies... If neither dies, I don't really care. I'm just pretty much winning, right? I think that encourages me to split this up. Or diversify my threats. So counters on Mammoth... I gain life, Mammoth fights Purveyor, and we even get a blood token. Yay! Old Earth Troll wears the counters better because it has Trample and, I suppose, Vigilance. But, yeah, okay. Exactly play with fire is why we did it this way. So, I feel rewarded. Also, this means I can attack with the Old Earth Troll and still have a blocker for Flory. I'm going to pretend that was all completely intentional that that worked out in a good way for me. Okay, none of that's Blood Vial Purveyor. That's a good sign. I f Hmm. There's no way I can get a 2-drop that's meaningful here. My opponent can Shatter Skull for 5 next turn. Am I supposed to loot on the off chance we find a 4-drop? Or a Fight Spell? Fight Spell is lethal. Maybe it might have been better to fight post-combat. Oh, so that after they blocked, I could pump what they blocked and then fight the Florian? Maybe that was better. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just swing with Old Growth Troll and tutor up a... probably the 4-drop hasty creature. Okay. 
Well, a braid hurts. I guess I could now technically play both of these if I wanted to. I don't think I want to. Yeah, I'd almost much rather sack the forest and get a token. And by much rather, or rather by almost much rather, I think I mean definitely much rather. I don't think I'm supposed to deck Thin Kazandu Mammoth. Although it does give us a lot more 4 drops to draw into, and a lot more removal spells. Okay. Let's get... Yes, Oddity. They attack with Florian, I block with Pup. They hit a land drop, they get to kill both of my creatures, but then they die because I make a 4-4. Oh, I guess I can make a 4-4 at instant speed, so I can just block the Florian, so those removal spells don't really matter in terms of Florian attacking. That tracks. Oh, does Venture tapped? It does. Okay. Does it show that I've literally never played with this card? And I've never even tried to attack a mono green deck before? <laughs> so if I attack with Florian, I think I just win. If they don't attack with Florian... Okay, so... I feel like I'm probably supposed to block here. I don't really know what it does. But it's got to be good for me to not have them potentially get to draw a card. We probably should have played around Drawing Disruption. Hey, alright, we actually beat Blood Vile Purveyor. Excellent, excellent. 